You're listening to World of Empowerment Radio. Your station for practical spirituality in a changing world. And here are your hosts, Angel Rose and Ahanu. Hi, I am Ahanu, and on behalf of my lovely Angel Rose, I want to welcome you to today, the 1st of February, the Feast of St. Bridget and Imbolc. In Ireland, the 1st of February is a special day. It's known as Imbolc, and it falls exactly halfway between the winter solstice and the spring equinox. February 1st traditionally celebrates the beginning of spring and marks the feast day of Bridget. Now, what is Imbolc? Imbolc is one of the four ancient Irish festivals. Bealtaine is celebrated on May 1st, Lunasa on August 1st, and Samhain is held on November 1st. These major Celtic festivals were celebrated with the lighting of fires. The legends of ancient Irish folklore link Bridget to the Kailach, the winter goddess. The Kailach, or the hag, has been feared and revered across Celtic cultures in Ireland, Scotland and the Isle of Man for hundreds and hundreds of years. Depicted as an old hag or a crone with one eye, she strides across mountains with her bow-legged leaping gait, shaping and transforming the landscape as rocks fall from her apron. Being the goddess of the winter months, she controls the length and harshness of winter. Her season begins on October 31st, the Samhain Festival, which we celebrate today as Halloween, and ends today, the 1st of February, the cross-quarter day of Imbolc. Some people say the name Imbolc comes from the old Irish Imvfolk, meaning to thoroughly wash or to cleanse. Angel Rose and I understand this to mean the ritual cleansing and purification brought about through fire and smoke. Because Bridget is popularly associated with sheep and lambs, others say Imbolc means in the belly, possibly referring to the lambing season in Ireland. And furthermore, in the belly it implies gestation, both of animal and human, and the germination of seeds at the beginning of spring. Bridget's festival also brings into awareness the subtle difference between the one known as Bridget and the now famous Saint Bridget. It's still uncertain if Saint Bridget was a real person. Various sources suggest that Saint Bridget actually grew from a myth about the original Celtic goddess Bridget. Bridget was the Celtic goddess of spring. She was an ancient Irish goddess also associated with poetry, medicine, cattle and arts and crafts. But the Catholic Church wanted to control the Irish Celts and so made the goddess into a saint. There are churches dedicated to St. Bridget in many parts of the world and over time she became an important icon for the church. This year, for the first time, this day has officially been declared a national bank holiday in Ireland. It's the first and only national public holiday to celebrate a woman. And for St. Bridget, it grants her equal status with the now world-famous St. Patrick. For Angel Rose and I, we prefer to celebrate the legends, myths, stories and folklores of the original Bridget, the Queen of the Gales. Bridget the Exalted One, Bridget Beloved of Poets, Bridget, the Irish goddess of spring, fertility and life. And so to finish, here's a short poem from the Brigantine Sisters in County Kildare, Ireland. May Bridget bless the house wherein you dwell. Bless every fireside, every wall and door. Bless every heart that beats beneath its roof. Bless every hand that toils to bring it joy. Bless every foot that walks its portals through. May Bridget bless the house that shelters you. And Angel Rose is about to bring in the spirit of St. Bridget's well into this water. Thank you. 
Okay, that's it. The end of a perfect day. And as we leave St. Bridget's Well with our little essence that has to do with tolerance, I guess you could call it, we leave for home. And there you are for this St. Bridget's Day, 1st of Feb. Blessings from myself, Ahanu, and from Angel Rose. You can subscribe on iTunes, Stitcher Radio, and on our website at worldofempowerment.com. Don't miss an episode. Hit the subscribe button now.